Today on Zero to Awesome, we are going boating. Port tax, starboard tax. There we go. There we go. No, no tax. We, we don't know. She learned something. We don't know what it is. Learned a lot about poles today. Yeah? Whisker poles. Whisker poles? Another poles. You good with the poles? There's lots of poles on this thing. Okay, no, not, not that type of boating. Uh, we're, we're going to work on a boat. Yeah, that way, the insurance company says it was your fault. You'd be like, no, we were just under the boat with a bottle jack. Okay, not, not really that type of working on a boat. We're actually, we're, go we're going to fix a boat cover using sewing and a sewing machine. But we're going to do it in the garage, so that is awesome. Boat covers can easily cost thousands of dollars, especially ones like this custom-made deck cover for a 30-foot sailboat. And this custom-made deck cover for a 30-foot sailboat, well, she's a bit broken at the moment. Let me show you what I mean. We've got a couple things wrong on this cover. Number one, it's blue, but um, I don't like blue covers. We can't fix that. We're gonna, we're gonna stick with blue. Number two, we got a little, little hole here. That should be pretty easy to fix. Number three, and the thing we're really gonna try and tackle is this zipper, well, it has seen better zippy days. It just completely separated from the rest of the cover. And that zipper, well, it does something very important. It actually holds the cover onto the boat. First thing first, we need to figure out what size the zipper is so we can order the right replacement. And that looks like right about 40 inches. Important part of the equation here, we actually want to order the right size zipper. I found a 40 incher and it is a outdoor UV resistant zipper for marine canvas, dog beds, covers. Yeah, so this should actually survive outside, uh, hopefully a little longer or at least as long as the last one. Add to cart. Ta-da! It looks like we got the right size. And when I ordered the zipper, it said two pieces, which I thought meant like a left and right side of a zipper that separates because it needs to completely separate. It needs one piece over here, one piece over there. It can all come apart, but I guess two pieces meant two zippers. So if I screw this up, we can just try again. That's perfect. Before I get too carried away in repairing this thing, Let's take a look at the beast that's actually going to be doing the repair. This is the Sailrite LSZ-1, which I'm not going to go into too much detail on. I'm not going to do a review. If you're interested in this machine, there's tons of videos out there. But what this is, is a very heavy duty industrial sewing machine in a really compact case. It, it seriously looks like something from the Industrial Revolution. There's metal everywhere, there's levers, there's knobs, there's gizmos. I've actually been taking a couple lessons to learn how to use this thing. And the purpose of having a really heavy duty machine, it can do leather work, it can do like multiple layers of boat canvas or sailcloth. But the purpose is you put it in this case, you throw it in the back of your off-road overlanding rig, or you stow it somewhere down below in your boat when you're sailing around the world. And when stuff breaks, you can actually fix it. You plug it into a regular household outlet, you can run it off a generator, it doesn't take a lot of power, but it's got the big motors, the big needle, the big power wheels to re-sew a tarp or re-sew canvas for a tent or an awning for an OHV vehicle. Or you can re-sew a sail that blew out when you're in the ocean. So yeah, um, it's got a lot of beef. I'm still learning how to use it. I've practiced on a couple of different things, but today is actually going to be the first time I'm attempting a repair. Worst case, I just sew right through my hand. Uh, this machine is powerful enough to sew through human flesh. So yeah, this, this will be fun. Before we could start repairing, we need to get the remnants of the old zipper out of here. So I'm just going to go to my masculine manly toolbox of, well, my toolbox of my sewing things, and I will use my seam ripper. And now we spend the next several hours just gently going in here and ripping out each individual little thread that is holding the zipper on. 
This is probably gonna take a few minutes. I will see you when we are ready to attach the new zipper. And I poked my finger. Nasty old zipper has come off. I think uh, the new zipper looks, looks a lot better. We're gonna use these little clips to attach each side of the zipper to my freshly de-zipped boat cover and then uh, put it on the machine Put it on the machine and sew it together. And the thread we are using, <laughs> I never thought I would say those words in my garage, is a UV resistant polypropylene, super high strength. Basically those words mean it's, it's the right thread for the job. It's gonna hold out outdoors and it's gonna hold up to all the tension of trying to fit this boat cover real tightly and real snug where it goes. All right, let's uh, do this and let's not sew through our hands. We've got our zipper all clipped on. I left enough space so our little zippy part doesn't get tied up on the edge of the cover. It's gonna be pretty tricky to get started because, well, layers overlap various layers. And we've got one, two, three, four, five, six layers of sail cover and a zipper. Uh, my, my machine should be able to go through this. So let's, uh, let's get to stitching our zipper on our cover. I messed it up. Take two. The hell's going on here? Okay, this is what's going on here. This machine is brand new, and I did not know this when I ordered it, but there was a slight design change right before I ordered mine, which was not disclosed to me when I ordered it. And so this thing, it's all gear driven, and there's a pin that goes between this wheel connected to a motor into all the gears of the machine. And this pin, it used to be metal. When I ordered it, I was like, hey, where's my pin? They sent me all these like little plastic pins that keep breaking off. And they're, they're sheer pins. They're made to break off before damaging the machine, but these, crappy plastic pins they keep sending me just snap for no reason. It, it, it wasn't gonna break the machine, it wasn't gonna bind up. This can handle many layers of leather, but these crappy plastic pins they switch to, they're just garbage. So we have one, one pin left. Um, I'm going to email the company and demand they send me the actual metal pins that were in, in the description when I bought it. But yeah, we've got one pin left and let's see how this, how this goes. Hello, Demery. Hi. I see you have caught me doing man things in my garage. Yes. Are you impressed with my skill of the sewing? Very impressed. I think I actually just finished it. Should we see if it works? Sure. I got to do. Probably no. Um, if it zips up or not. Oh, it's a zipper. <laughs> yeah. I uh, um, need to do one more. I'm double, double zipping it. Yeah. Here we go. I think I got them on the right side and everything. I'm double, I'm double stitching it for extra security, so I need to make sure it. Uh... Ooh! I just need to do one more pass on this side to make sure it's super secure. Very nice! Yay! Both sides are now more firmly attached, and I think it's going to zip. Maybe. I, I don't know how to use a zipper. I think it's going to zip. Oh yeah, look at that. It zips on dry land, so the only thing left to do, break into the marina and see if it fits on the boat. That'd be super cool if like it fell on us at the marina, but uh, I don't know how to do that. So, to the marina. Oh no. I, I have a key. Here we are. Uh, well, the only thing left to do is see if it fits. Cross your fingers. The moment of truth. Oops. Let's, let's put you somewhere else for the moment of truth. You can already tell we've got some lines in the way, so that, that needs some slack on it. 
for those of you who really must know, yeah, that is called a downhaul. So we're gonna we're gonna find the thing that says downhaul, and there we go. Better. Got some slack. Huh. A little slack on the main sheet. Bob's your uncle. It fit, and that's good because, uh, well, this is not my boat cover, and this is not my boat. Mine is a couple feet that way. So let's go. Let's go take a look at my boat and talk about why I just fixed someone else's boat cover. This is my cover, and as you can tell, it is huge. It covers all the way from the very back of the boat to the very pointy bit in the front of the boat. And it's super, it's incredible for like long-term storage or winter storage. But if you're out using it a lot during the summer or if you're racing it in the fall and the spring like we do, it's horrible because it takes forever to take off and then a solid 45 minutes to put back on. And that's just not convenient. The other cover, which I just fixed, if you look at it, it covers the companionway, it covers the windows, it covers anywhere water might get in to keep the boat nice and dry and kind of protected. So I bought that sewing machine so I could make myself a cover like that. And before making myself a cover like that, well, I wanted to experiment on a friend's cover. So I offered to fix it for him. Um, I've also been making some other fun little doodads like this is a shroud cover, which covers your shrouds. So let's see if my uh, own personal design here fits. Oh yeah. Oh, that's actually, that's really, that's really nice. That, that fits really nice. The purpose of this is to keep all your sails and lines and everything from getting caught up on these guys and just chafing them up and tearing holes in them. And then also, uh, I've been printing some boat parts. Uh, this is a drain scupper cover. I've got stainless steel ones for this boat that just don't fit very well, so I made my own. Um, I just have to get in there to see if it works, so. You wait right here, I'll be back, hopefully, in a minute. Going in. Oh my God. This is not the easiest thing to do. But it's better than taking this cover off. Welcome to the undercover, the inside of the boat. And let's see, let's pop out this guy who doesn't fit very well and... Oh wow, that... That works. Works really well. I think I just need to clean the hole up a little bit and then print out a second one of those. I like it. Yeah, that's not that's not going anywhere. I like this thing that just flies out all the time. Okay, let's get out of here. It's really hot. Okay, well, that is it for this time. At some point in the future, I need to come out here and make a template and design my much smaller, more convenient cover. And I now believe I have the skills to create that. So. Until next time, uh, yeah, get a sewing machine. It's cool, especially if you keep it in your garage. Bye. Welcome to the undercover, the inside of the boat. And let's see, pop out this guy who doesn't fit very well. And oh wow, that that works works really well. <laughs>